Mastering Directions Using Landmarks in English Hello, English learners. Welcome back to our series on Conversational English. Today, we're diving into an incredibly important and practical topic, giving directions using landmarks. Specifically, we'll be exploring what landmarks are and how we can use them effectively when giving directions. This can be a game changer in your everyday conversations, making it much easier for you to navigate your way around English speaking cities or help others to do so. Let's get started. So, what exactly are landmarks? In the context of giving directions, a landmark is an easily recognizable natural or man made feature that can be used as a reference point. It's something that stands out in an environment, like a tall building, a public park, a bridge, a church, a supermarket, and so on. Landmarks are crucial when we talk about directions because they make our instructions more concrete, clear, and easy to follow. Imagine this. You're giving directions to a friend. You could say, walk straight for about five minutes then turn left. This might work. But what if you added a landmark? Saying, walk straight until you see a big red church, then turn left, makes your instructions so much more precise. Landmarks help to eliminate confusion by providing visual cues to help people orient themselves. Now let's talk about how to use landmarks when giving directions in English. Typically, you'll use prepositions of place and movement such as at, past, towards, across from, and next to. For example, turn left at the church, go past the supermarket, walk towards the library, the cafe is across from the park, the bus stop is next to the bank. These phrases combine the verb indicating the direction or action with the landmark to provide clear, easy to follow directions. And there you have it. We've taken a closer look at what landmarks are, why they're so important when giving directions, and how to use them in English. As you can see, landmarks can greatly improve your ability to give and understand directions. Try to include them next time you're explaining your way around, and see how it changes your experience. Until next time, happy learning!